Appomattox Courthouse National Historical Park. We have arrived. Let's go check it out. Here's a look back at the parking area at the Appomattox National Historical Park. That's the McLean House, dead ahead. And up the road, off to the right, is the Appomattox Courthouse. And the Pierce House is located off in the distance there, and we'll take a walk up there and, and, and check that out. They also have a nice picnic area right adjacent to the main parking area. This is the Clover Hill Tavern. And there's a gentleman that just spent about 10 minutes uh, getting us up to speed on what happened here. This is where they printed the parole passes after Lee's army surrendered to Grant at Appomattox Courthouse. Let's go in and take a look. Here are the printing presses where they printed the parole passes for Lee's army. They did that, uh, I believe on April 10th and 11th. Um, it was the day after Lee surrendered. He had asked Grant to provide his men with parole so they could return home without harassment. Here's an example of what that parole pass looked like. And they printed tens of thousands of these. Behind the tavern, they do have uh, restrooms with flush toilets and they are uh, they're open during uh, COVID season. <laughs> and uh, this is the museum store and it is open and there is a person in there. So FYI. We're going to make our way over to the McLean house where the actual surrender took place. It's over in this direction here. This building here is an attorney's office. Attorney at law, Woodson. Things were a little bit different back in the 1800s. Let's go down around the corner and go to the McLean house. I was, uh, I'd always thought that Lee and Grant had surrendered here and that's all that, that took place right here was the surrender. But uh, the young man back there had indicated that there were tens of thousands of soldiers here, and Lee was under a constant uh, assault by Grant's forces, trying to pr prohibit Lee from heading south into North Carolina. Lee's men were starving, and um, the constant pressure on Lee's army is what forced Lee to surrender here at Appomattox. Let's go check out the McLean House. This is the McLean House where the surrender took place. Let's go check it out. Is there any, uh, what did they call this room? The parlor room. The parlor room. So this is the parlor room where Lee surrendered to General Grant.
just below the parlor area in the McLean house is the kitchen. And this is the dining area also downstairs from the parlor room where the surrender took place. The McLean house was one of the finest house, houses in the, uh, in the county. This is Appomattox Courthouse. And the building itself, the courthouse was closed at the time of the surrender. And uh, Grant did not want to use this uh, courthouse because it was a Confederate institution. They wanted to use a private residence, which was not government owned. So the surrender actually took place just across the street over in the McLean house. Here's a view from the rear side of the Appomattox Courthouse. And that is the tavern where the paroles were issued, or the paroles were, were printed. Looking, we're looking with a view toward the Stagecoach Road between Richmond and Lynchburg. Appomattox Courthouse is just up the road there. Says throughout the day on April 12, 1865, shattered Confederate divisions marched into the village to surrender their weapons and flags. Union troops lined the Richmond Lynchburg Stage Road beyond the McLean House. Confederates, many of them racketeers, marched between the two Union lines to lay down their arms. By day's end, about 22,000 Confederates had marched into the village and stacked arms. Hundreds more refused to do so and simply left their weapons in camp. April 10th through 15th, the Confederates received their paroles. The long journey home and the difficult road to reconciliation began. Final combat. From this spot was fired last cannon shot from the artillery of the Army of Northern Virginia on the morning of April 9th, 1865. On the knoll before you, Lee and Grant held the second of their two meetings at Appomattox Courthouse. They met here on the morning of April 10th. That would be the day after the surrender. Grant hoped to enlist Lee's support in urging the surrender of other Confederate armies, and Lee was intent on working out the final details of surrender. Lee refused Grant's request to exert his influence with other armies, but the two officers did resolve details of the surrender. Grant agreed to provide the Confederates with individual parole passes to safeguard their journey home. He would also allow sur surrendered soldiers to pass free on all government transportation on their way home. During their two meetings at Appomattox, not a harsh word passed between Lee and Grant, wrote one Confederate. General Grant and his men treated us nobly, more nobly than was ever a conquered army treated before or since. The process of reconciliation had begun. On this spot, Lieutenant General Ulysses S. Grant, United States Army and General Robert E. Lee, Confederate States of America, met on the morning of April 10th, 1865. That's the Richmond Lynchburg Stagecoach Road.
Appomattox Courthouse National Historical Park is definitely worth a day trip. If you like these videos, like and subscribe, and I'll see you down the road.